The anniversary of the 9-11 attacks is tomorrow. I'd like to make a few videos about 9-11 for the anniversary. So this is one I'll explain. James, who I had mentioned in a previous video, sent me an email asking me to post at this BBC World Have Your Say page. So I did post a comment, but it never showed up. I'm glad I posted a copy over at my blog, and I'll return to that post. I just want to say who James is. Now this is a comment that did show up. The first time I saw James was three years ago on C-SPAN. They were showing the 9-11 Public Discourse Project's hearings. He was challenging Lee Hamilton, who was the vice chairman of the 9-11 Commission, and he had joined nine other 9-11 commissioners to form the 9-11 Public Discourse Project. So James took that opportunity to ask, why weren't they talking about U.S. support for Israel? And as I point out, especially since it was the main motive for the 9-11 attacks. Mr. Hamilton, I had a quick question for you, sir. I'd spoken with you on C-SPAN about a month ago, and we talked. I think about, we'd, uh, yeah, we talked about we, Israeli we, policy. We would like, we'd like to. Yeah, address why our, are we addressing like the grill address in the our... room? The grill in the room is U.S. support for Israel. You, you had made a mistake earlier. Yeah, yeah. You had said that the Israeli-Palestinian dispute wasn't addressed in the 9/11 Commission report. I beg yeah. to differ with that. On page 147, it is stated that well, the plotter of 9/11, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was driven to attack us, not because of radical ideology, as, as okay. um, uh, Mr. Blair, because of U.S. support for Israel. Why are we addressing that, sir? All right, sir. You, you, you got Mr. Bamford's book from me, James Bamford's A Pretext yeah. for War book. It okay. conveys that we were attacked, and then you have Mr. Ross up here, who's basically affiliated with the Israeli lobby, AIPAC. Uh, this is a conversation that you and I ought to have, but let's not take yeah, the time of our resource sure, people. May we go to the next question, please? Thank you very much. It is outrageous for Lee Hamilton to be rejecting James's relevant question. Relevant because it is the main motive for the 9-11 attacks. And from what Thomas Keen and Lee Hamilton put in their book, we're led to believe it isn't Lee Hamilton who is rejecting mentioning Israel. It's some other commissioners who, quote, rejected mentioning the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in the report. In their view, listing U.S. support for Israel as a root cause of al-Qaeda's opposition to the United States indicated that the United States should reassess that policy. Who told these guys that their mandate was to keep the American public from reassessing the policy of supporting Israel? Almost 3,000 people die, and these guys still want to play politics? The law that created the 9-11 Commission says that they are to report the causes relating to the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. They didn't do that. And the two top commissioners admit why in their book. So now we know why they omitted key testimony. They made sure the following testimony did not make its way into the 9-11 Commission report. But what have you found out? about why these men did what they did. What motivated them to do it? I, I believe they feel a sense of outrage against the United States. They identify uh, with uh, the Palestinian problem. They identify uh, with people who oppose repressive uh, re regimes. And I believe they tend to focus their anger on the United States. And they kept this out of the report, too. Laden had been pressuring KSM for months to advance the attack date. According to KSM, Ben Laden had even asked that the attacks occur as early as mid-2000, after Israeli opposition party leader Ariel Sharon caused an outcry in the Middle East by visiting a sensitive and contested holy site in Jerusalem, sacred to both Muslims and Jews. Although Ben Laden recognized that Atta and the other pilots had only just arrived in the United States to begin their flight training, the Al-Qaeda leader wanted to punish the United States for supporting Israel. The Al-Qaeda leader wanted to punish the United States for supporting Israel. The Al-Qaeda leader wanted to punish the United States for supporting Israel. He allegedly told KSM it would be sufficient simply to down the planes and not hit specific targets. Instead of the testimonies that I just showed you, they put this nonsense in the report. America's policy choices have consequences, right or wrong. Do these sociopaths think that Americans should be dying for policies that are wrong? We're supposed to be a good people, right? America's supposed to be good? Should we actually have wrong policies? Should Americans be putting their lives at risk for a policy that's wrong? And the commissioners think, ah, oh, either or, right or wrong. 
I mean, are they sociopaths to suppress the main motive to omit this testimony? And look at the language they ended up agreeing on. It is simply a fact that American policy regarding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? You mean U.S. support for Israel? The policy of supporting Israel is a dominant staple of popular commentary? They committed fraud. Because what it is, is it's the main motivating factor for why terrorists attack the United States. They want that policy changed. And the policy is wrong. These commissioners are robbing the American people of their chance to decide if they want to put their lives at risk for something that's wrong. And in part two, I'll go into detail of just how wrong that is, referring back to my comment at the beginning of this video.